In this example, we want to evaluate by converting to polar the integral from 0 to 2 of the integral of from y to the square root of 8 minus y squared of the quantity the square root of x squared plus y squared dx dy. We want to convert this to polar, so we need to determine the region that is defined by the bounds. So our bounds for the inside integral, that's our dx. Um, the bounds for x would be your left x of the region is equal to y, and the right side of the region is x equals the square root of 8 minus y squared. And then our bounds for y would be from the bottom y, for our lower bound, our lower y is equal to 0, to our upper y, which is equal to 2. So we want to sketch this region. And you can sketch this re region by graphing the line x is equal to y, or y is equal to x. Uh, the line y is equal to 0, that's your x-axis. The line y is equal to 2. And then we want to graph the line, uh, or the curve actually, x is equal to the square root of 8 minus y squared. If you square both sides of this, you get x squared is equal to 8 minus y squared, or you get x squared plus y squared is equal to 8. And that's a circle with a radius of square root of 8, which is about something like this. So we want to find the region that is bound by all of those. The left side of the region is x equals y, that's going to be our left side. The right side of the region is this uh, part of the circle. The lower part of the region is y equals 0, and the upper part is y equals 2. That's in fact where they intersect. Alright, so now that we've determined our region, we want to then convert this to polar and determine the bounds for r and the bounds for theta. Okay, to find the bounds for the radius and the theta, if we look at, if we um, slice this like a pie, you can see that this is a little change d theta, and this would be a dr. So our bounds for radius would be an inside radius would equal 0, and then the outside radius would equal the radius of that circle, and since this is the equation x squared plus y squared equals 8. The radius of that circle is the square root of 8. And then let's determine our bounds for theta. The bounds for theta would be your smallest angle theta, would be starting right here if you were to slice it starting at the positive x-axis, that angle would be 0. And then if you continue slicing it until you reach this line, which is the line y equals x or x equals y, that would be a diagonal line, a 45 degree line, and we're going to use an, um, a largest angle theta of pi over 4. Again, at that slope, uh, that line is a diagonal line, y is equal to x, the slope is 1, so the tangent um, is 1 when the um, angle is equal to pi over 4. So now we have our bounds, and then we want to convert the bounds as well as converting what we have in here using the conversion equations. One of the conversion equations that we use when we're converting to polar is um, x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So if we know that x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, then we, we can actually convert this. So the square root of x squared plus y squared would equal the square root of r squared, and that would be r. Now, another thing we want to look at is how we convert the differentials, dx, dy. Well, differential area, dA, is equal to dx, dy. But when you convert it to polar, dA is going to be r times dr d theta, or it could be r times d theta times dr. And what, to decide which order to do that, we want to first look at how this is going to simplify. So this double integral 
for this region R of this where we convert it to polar. The square root of x squared plus y squared converts to R and the dA dx dy that's going to be our dA. We're going to convert that. So when when you begin to make the substitution, we get R times the differential area, which is R times dr times d theta, or it could be R times d theta times dr. In this case, it doesn't make a, a big difference. So this is going to be R times, which we got from the substitution, and then the R times dr times d theta. So our bounds for R is going to go from 0 from 0 to the square root of 8, and our bounds for theta, the outside, would go from 0 to pi over 4. Now let's evaluate this beginning with the inside integral. This is in terms of r. This is when you simplify as r squared. So the antiderivative of r squared is r to the third over 3 from 0 to the square root of 8 the integral from 0 to pi over 4 d theta. Now we're going to plug in square root of 8 for r. So we get the square root of 8 to the third power over 3. And when you plug in 0, you get 0. And you want to evaluate that from 0 to pi over 4 d theta. And when we take the antiderivative of this with respect to theta, this is a constant. So it would be the square root of 8 all to the third power over 3 times theta, where theta is evaluated from 0 to pi over 4. Now you can plug in pi over 4 for theta, and you get square root of 8 to the third over 3 times pi over 4. And then when you plug in 0, you get 0. So you can simplify this. Now this is going to simplify to pi times uh, 4 square root of 2 over 3. And that ends up being approximately 5.92. So in order to evaluate this iterated integral, we converted to polar. We use the bounds to determine the region uh, in terms of x and y, and then we use that to find the bounds in terms of r and theta, did the substitutions, and evaluated to get our final answer.